Hey, what is up guys? I hope you're all having an amazing day as usual. Welcome back to the channel guys. If you're new here and you enjoy today's video, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Thank you guys very much for watching. Enjoy today's video. All right guys, so today, just gonna jump right into it. Not completely sure of what we are doing today. Just gonna take you guys along with me. Not too bad. Like I said, not too sure about what we're gonna be doing today. I went and picked up about 52 washers from my local tractor supply. Um, it should be enough washers all around, but like I said in the last video, um, I wasn't going to be throwing washers on the car just yet, and if I was going to throw them on, um, I was just going to do the rears, because I do have more plants before I go lower. Um, I want to get everything in my front end done at the same time, besides of course folding the, uh, the fender seams. I want to get my spindles chopped, uh, tilted, all of that. I also want to go ahead and get extended top hats, um, some drop forks, and extended lower control arms. Um, I want to get all of that done around the same time. Of course, I'll probably have to split it up um, and have like a certain time frame. Uh, probably going to end up getting extra with all of those, um, get some extra spindles so I don't have to chop the ones on my car. Extra lower control arms so that I don't have to cut up mine as well. I'd like to get all of that done around the same time. It just make it a whole lot easier and more fluid, I guess, or at least get some that I can chop up and just get them all installed in the car at the same time. Uh, that is the plan, ideally, of course. Not sure. Wow, there's a Chevy Z34 in front of me. I don't even know what this thing is. Anyways, we're just going to see about doing something in the rear today. I still don't have my rear camber kit. This guy in the Chevy is not going at the green light. And I don't have a horn, so. <laughs> see about doing something with the rears today because you can still... can still hear the rear scraping pretty bad. I'm just ready to go lower. Um, the car doesn't sit as low as it did on the 16s, of course, even though with my wheel and tire, I was probably around a 15 inch um, kind of spec going on. But I want to get lower on the 16s. I think the 16s, wow, thanks for pulling out in front of me. I think the 16s look really good on the car, even though I'm not going to keep them. I just really love my bolts. Wouldn't ever get rid of these wheels. I thought about it so many times, but I will not ever get rid of my bolts. Anyways, you might be wondering where we're going. Uh, we're just gonna head back over to Jordan's. He has my jack there anyways, so might as well just head over to his house, and plus he doesn't live that far away from me. And now that we work together, we hang out a whole lot more, so that's a plus. Everyone, keep an eye on your family members. Uh, keep in touch with them as best as you can, even if they're pieces of shit. If they're just complete horrible people, it's understandable, but be there for your family as best as you can. That's what I think anyways. People around here do not know how to drive. It's horrible. I got a really nice um, mount for my phone as well. Cost it like 30 bucks at work, but it works really well and it still jumps around. But that's partly because I have a uh, piece of junk car. Man, this car 
guitar sounds so good with just a muffler delete. I love having cats still because it's it's not horribly loud. It doesn't drone too bad, and uh, it's just the perfect amount of loudness that I like in a Honda. I'm not saying I haven't had loud Hondas before because I definitely have. The EP3 was horribly loud. Hated how loud it was, especially when I had that big hole in my exhaust. Um, but this car sounds so much better than the EP3. Honestly, a whole lot better than my Integra. And that was a, a B20 car, but it was just a little bit too loud and it had an eBay muffler that I just did not like. I am planning on uh, making some custom tips for this car though. I've had my eye on some for a while. Um, sadly, the person that's make, making them is a little bit behind on schedule, which I'm not trying to say that's a bad thing. He has a lot of orders and he does amazing work when it comes to exhausts. So it's okay that he's a little bit behind. So I went ahead and got some tips and I know a really good fabricator that could uh, help me out with making this exhaust. By the way, sorry if the wind noise is a little bit much. This car gets very hot, so we're gonna roll the rear window down a little bit. That'll help. I'll roll this window up just for you guys. I'm telling you, Del Sol's get so hot if you don't have working AC, which I have AC, but it hardly works, so. And this is gonna sound dumb, but with a car that only makes 100 horsepower, um, I don't like taking any of that away from it. So I never have the AC on, even if it does barely work. And it gets to be over 100 degrees here in New Mexico sometimes. I'm not gonna use AC. Sneaky sip. downshifts. I don't know how it sounds on the outside because I've never had anyone drive my car and I've never had anyone get rollers for me. I don't have very much uh, outside like context. I don't have an outside view of how my car even sounds. So maybe whatever I just said um, is complete bullshit and it sounds horrible. But from what everyone else tells me, it sounds really good. So, can't wait to be throwing sparks out of this car. People might cringe and say that you're ruining your car, which I guess isn't completely wrong when you're scraping the frame off. But, I promise, it's fine when you scrape a little bit. The average person thinks that their car is broken when they hear a scrape, and that can be very hard to get over at first, especially for younger people, but I promise your car is not breaking. Just saw someone I know. Your car is not breaking when you hear a little scrape. Definitely check it out, but sounds like I have a flat. Yeah, definitely sounds like I have a flat. My front driver's side is pretty bad and so is my passenger side but my driver's side I know for a fact has a couple of holes. I plug them up um, but wheel plugs are not always the best. And we're here guys. We are here. Go ahead and get real close up to his curb. Parallel parking madness. Anyways, we are here guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the camera for a little bit and we'll get right back into it. Maybe pull it up into the uh, the driveway. Who knows, we're just gonna see. All right guys, so as you can tell, a little bit later in the day, um, 
I talked to a couple of guys that are way lower than I am and they told me before I go on washers I should definitely invest in some drop forks and extended top hats so we're not gonna throw on washers today not a big deal but I am gonna go ahead and max out the rear um, the front is maxed the rear isn't but I think for now I'm probably just gonna go ahead and max out the rear um, so yeah no washers but maybe that's a good thing. I don't really want to break anything. Uh, that's definitely not what I prefer. So yeah, my phone's about to die, but we're gonna try to get this done um, quick enough. So we were able to max out the coilover. There's still a little bit more thread, but because the fork is actually hitting the end of the strut, we can't max it out anymore. Um, if I were to go ahead and just chop the strut back here and thread it back on, that would work and it, it would be fine, but it's fine how it is. So I'm just gonna rock with it. We're also gonna be trying to grind some of the inside of this out, make it a little bit more smooth because that is definitely what's tearing up my tire. And if you look in the fender well, you can see all kinds of uh, burnt up rubber. So. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead, finish up what we're doing on this side and move to the other side and get it done. Guys, so we are all done. Honestly, I don't notice much of a difference. Um, I guess it's just gonna be in the way it feels, but since my phone is literally about to die, um, I'm just gonna stop filming for a little bit and we'll get a cockpit view here in a little bit uh, when I charge my phone up a little bit. I just hope to God that this was worth it because Jesus Christ, uh, were those collars stuck on there. So yeah. All right guys, how's it going? Um, we are back. Oh, well, anyways, we are back. It is the following day. I'm just gonna make this a quick little closing out statement for all of you guys that made it this far in the video. I just want you to know that work was in vain um i just cannot get that rubbing away without camber so camber kit is on the way so look out for that video any of you guys that stayed here this long thank you very very much Ugh. i love you and peace out guys